Okay, I'm going to show you how to use a convert cotton towel. Um, once you receive it, you will fall in love with it. I think this is probably my favorite one out of the 15 that I've made. Um, but let's talk about how it works. So once you're in the shower, you'll braid, manipulate your hair, wash, condition, and then what I normally do is I section my hair in fours. And from those four sections, I braid them down. And then when I get out the shower, before I even start drying my body off, I wrap my hair up the way you see it now. So I'll bend over, I'll throw the towel over, and I'll wrap it. I'm gonna show you, just want you to know why I'm looking like I'm looking. So, my four braids, um, once I get out the shower, I'll braid them down like you see them. Um, four sections, wash, condition, um, with conditioner, detangled, and then from there I'll braid them up and then I'll let the water kind of just submerge my head under the, the faucet. Um, then I wring them out right before I get out, and then as soon as I get out the shower, what I'll do, I'm going to turn to the side. As I'll take them and I'll push them over like this. Then I'll take the towel, put the towel right over them, reset, readjust them. And then I'll take this and the towel you'll want to crisscross it like this in the front. Um, and then it'll just kind of roll over, twist it down, and then I usually bring it back. And very, very carefully as to not to snag my hair, tuck it under in the back just like that. My ears are underneath. You can have your ears out. It's up to you how you want to do that. And then it's pretty much secured on there. I'll go ahead and I'll get dressed, put my clothes on, and then I'll take it and I'll actually blot my hair through. So we're going to go through that now. Um, the process of blotting after you finish. And then I'll show you how much, um, how much is actually on the towel, how much water the towel took. And I have to actually find a new spot there's so much on it and I'll just ring through just like that it's pretty dry but um I'll do it again just the way in which you do it either way notice that I'm not pulling my edges but you know twisting at the bottom and then um, separate and I'll go ahead and braid that back up And again, when I braid, I don't pull too tight. Try to leave about two inches there in the front. And then um, try to keep the same sections. Don't re rearrange it. But um, yeah. So I'm not going to braid this all the way to the end. Okay, but that's that. So now I'll show you the towel um, and some of the water that the towel has taken in. Um, as you can see, quite a lot of water is at one point because that was probably on the nape of my neck as it pulled over. Um, and then I'll do a long view like this so you can see how much water it's taken in. Um, and then I kind of just leave it to dry, leave it to hang dry. And my hair is pretty dry now, probably within... I don't know, 20 minutes, it'll probably be completely dry. My scalp is still wet because I didn't go into each individual section and kind of shingle it with the um, cover cotton towel. 